so guys our pattern is complete and our model is looking like a real helical gear now but guys if you remember from the last part that I didn't relate the number of teeth in the pattern uh, th that was because when I do it or when you will do it I'll put number of teeth Uh, it, it it does it does not relate uh, and uh, I have uh, come uh, with a certain workaround that we can relate these number of teeth so guys let us uh, do it so first of all open your relations and in the relations the relations box and uh, click the pattern and you will click it in yeah, a local group and uh, something like this occurs so uh, guys try to uh, be, be careful and and uh, select this one the, uh, this local group with the arrows ar uh, around it outside of it so I'll click this and I will relate it with my number of teeth number teeth. and I'll check the relations relations are correct and so now my number of teeth are related and uh, uh, if uh, uh, I change my number of teeth uh, I will not have to manually change them inside the pattern only I'll change them in the parameters and everything will work okay so guys now only the keyway and the board remains but first we will examine one exception that occurs when we create helical gears of uh, different uh, different number of teeth board eye etc etc so let us uh, examine it Sometimes it occurs that the root dia is smaller than the base dia. Here, as you can see, the root dia, which was, which is, which uh, is the dia of the original cylinder, is here. It is larger than the base diameter. But sometimes, when we enter a uh, certain number of teeth and pitch dia, etc., the root dia is smaller than the base dia so when uh, uh, when you have a gear like that you will have to make some modifications so guys let's see one such gear so I have uh, put some values here for a gear one such gear out of a catalog so guys we will uh, examine this gear the values here number of teeth and pitch dia 6 mm, put it dia 7 mm, and the width is 3 mm. And click OK and I'll regenerate. And as you can see, error occurs and the pattern is not generated uh, quite as we expected it to be generated so in order to correct this we will have to open the sweep the first sweep profile and our sketch and here as you can see so basically delete all of these trajectory intersection etc and yes 
so guys as you can see the root dia this is the root dia and this is the base dia and the involute curve is way out of the uh, way out and it cannot be it can uh, it is not touching the root dia so our teeth are not uh, constructed correctly so we will project both involute curves and in order for them to be connected uh, we will first first we will create a curve on the root dia and then we will create straight lines that are tangent as you can see straight tangent lines to the root diameter and uh, after that for the outside diameter we will get the curves and then we will uh, delete rest of the unwanted curves and our teeth is complete we'll click ok and as you can see now that the teeth is quite cracked I'll click OK, but uh, as I had related, the chamfer and the round was related to the lines that were created previously. That is why these they are not working with these teeth. So I'll have to change the edges. So I'll change the value of 0 0.01 or oh, 0 0.05 and similarly round and for this uh, I'll simply move all and fillet is quite large so I'll make it small 0 0.25 and I'll click OK and hopefully our gear and there you can see our gear is Uh, now it is created successfully so I'll hide it and now we will create our bore simple sketch and create a circle from the center dimension it as 2 mm and create a center rectangle and create it on this and as you see me delete the remaining unwanted segments of lines and imagine this as 0 0.4 mm OK Enter Remove And guys Like this We have created our guys Hope you guys liked uh, This video Thanks for watching